welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and this is Ted and today we are making my apricot and ghee energy balls. As I just mentioned today I'm going to be making my apricot and ghee energy balls. Now these are a really nice sweet treat. They are really good, great as a snack um, mid morning or mid afternoon and they also make a really nice treat after dinner as well. I'm going to be making these for my mum today because I feel like she needs a bit of a treat. After being in the house for about four months because of lockdown I think she needs something sweet to eat. So while I was making them I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my apricot and ghee energy balls. So for this recipe, you will need 150 grams of apricots, dried apricots, um, and I've soaked these in water for about five minutes and I've just left them to cool. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into my food processor. And then you will also need 150 grams of ghee. Now I've done a video on ghee and I also have a recipe for this as well, which I will link in the description box below for you. But ghee is basically butter without the milk, so you boil it until you get rid of all the milk from it and it comes out this lovely golden colour. So I'm going to put all of that in there, that's 150 grams going into the food processor. Right, so... And then you will also need four tablespoons of ground flax seeds. Um, you can use other seeds if you want to, and if you have a Nutribullet, you can just blend the seeds up. So you could use pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds if you wanted to. You can use it any combination. I just really like to use flax seeds. Flax seed is really good for you. It helps with your BMs in the morning. It's a, it's a good source of fiber. <laughs> flax seeds and then I've also got um, four ta two tablespoons of raw cacao powder as well. Um, raw cacao powder is like cocoa powder but it's not dried out and roasted like cocoa powder so it's still got a lot of the nutrition in it that it originally had when it came from the tree. And then I've also got a couple of tablespoons of honey as well. Um, if you wanted to make these vegan, you could use maple syrup or date syrup if you wanted to. Um, I like to use honey, obviously because I'm not a vegan and uh, I think honey is great for the body. This is a local honey that we've got here um, and we do try to buy local honey. Um, I do think it is better for the body. There's no scientific evidence to that, but I do think it is better for the body to have local produce. Um, and now what I'm going to do is, if I can get this lid off properly. This has been blended now until it resembles a paste, um, a sort of a th very thick paste. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into a bowl and then I'm going to put this back into the fridge until it goes hard. So I'm going to put this in overnight, but you just have to wait until it goes hard and then you can take it out and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this in the morning. I mean, if you didn't want to wait overnight, then you could only you could just put it in for a couple of hours. So yes, I'm off to put this into the fridge now. So I left my get apricot and ghee mixture to set in the fridge overnight and I've just taken it out for a few hours before I want to use it just to soften it slightly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a spoon like a teaspoon and I'm going to roll these into balls and then I'm going to put them into some extra raw cacao powder that I've just got ready in this bowl and I'm just going to keep doing this until I've rolled up all of the mixture now. So that's my energy balls made and I'm going to be giving these to my mum as a little gift. They do make a fantastic present but they also make a really nice treat as I mentioned earlier in this video. Um, I might have one or two and I think Ted might have a couple as well and I'm sure Howard would dig in so by the time we give them to them, <laughs> my mum, they'll probably all be gone. But anyway, yes. 
We're gonna go off and enjoy a couple of these now. So, I will link the recipe for these in the description box below for mm, you. And I'll that. also link the ghee recipe in the description box below too. But for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button.